Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome to Catfish Corner. Catfish Franklin here. And today's story is called Wildwood Flower. Um, but first, I would like to thank everyone who's been hitting all the YouTube buttons and donating at the link in the description below. Uh, Johnny Shore, you're the man. All right. Now then, Wildwood Flower. This song was first published in 1860. Uh, the authors were um, Joseph Philbrick Webster and Maud Irving on lyrics. And it is thought that Maud Irving is a pseudonym for a man, which is funny because this song is in the voice of a woman. So maybe if that's true, maybe that's why he used a pseudonym. But uh, the song was made popular by the Carter family. Um, I heard a recording of Maybell she said this is the song that she played the most, um, which I can see. It's it's a um, pretty strong song. But um, it's cool with the Carter family because you can hear how it's been telephoned through their family, you know, for 70 years or whatever. So some of the lyrics are different, some of the verses are flip-flopped. But I'm going to do the original version, and um, it's cool because in the first verse, there's they mention the gal has flowers in her hair, and they mention the Aeronautus flower. And that is not a known flower, so it's unknown if the guy made a mistake or it's something that disappeared before it was ever cataloged or what, but that's pretty cool, I think. So anyway, I guess we better get into it, see what we got here, let's see what this song's all about. <laughs>
All right, everyone. That is the story of Wildwood Flower. The sad, sad story of the Wildwood Flower. Well, that's it for story time. Thanks for joining me here today. And uh, if you like this sort of thing, feel free to hit those buttons. You know, subscribe, the bell, like, comment, share. Um, or if you really feel like uh, donating at the link in the description below, feel free. So thanks, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.